Hello, I'm Elizabeth Robinson, and my project is on the volcanoes and plate tectonics of Mexico. I think we're all familiar with the general location of Mexico, but just in case you've forgotten, it's located right here, just south of the United States. Mexico's volcanoes are part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. This is because the western edge of Mexico is formed by a plate boundary. The Cocos Plate, which is an oceanic plate, subducts under the continental North American plate. Because of this, Mexico is located in one of Earth's subduction zones. Subduction zones are prone to large earthquakes because the two plates are grinding against each other. Subduction zones also have a chain of volcanoes called a volcanic arc. A volcanic arc is produced when the oceanic crust of the subducting plate, in this example would be the Cocos Plate, attains high enough temperature and pressure to undergo metamorphism. This releases water which triggers the melting of the mantle. The resulting magma then rises to the surface, spewing out as lava and forming volcanoes. For most subduction zones, the subducting plate reaches about 100 kilometers in depth at about, at about 100 kilometers inland from the trench. So most of the volcanic arcs are located 100 kilometers from the trench. But in Mexico, because the subducting slab flattens out, it doesn't reach this depth until about 300 kilometers from the trench, thus forming volcanoes that are a lot further inland. This picture shows what's called the volcanic axis in Mexico. And this is a place in the country with the highest concentration of volcanoes. There are over a thousand classified volcanoes in the country, but 42 are either currently deemed active or have the possibility of becoming active again. Popocatepetl is one of Mexico's most active volcanoes. Its name comes from the Aztec word for smoking mountain, but it is commonly known as Volcano Popo. Recorded eruptions started in 1345 and continued until the mid-1900s when it had a period of dormancy. However, an eruption in 1994 made it active again, and it has been having small eruptions since then. The volcano is 17,802 feet tall. It is only about 43 miles from Mexico City in the state of Puebla. About 25 million people live in this region, so it's monitored on a regular basis to detect threats. There's a live webcam on the volcano 24-7, and this is footage from an eruption in June of 2013. It spewed lava rocks two and a half miles in the air, and some small fires were started as a result. Thankfully, there wasn't any harmful human impact, but over 50 flights were canceled that day. Thank you for watching my video, and let me know if you have any questions.